Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Shijai Imran, iTechno8 back with you with a new video. In this video, we're going to be discussing what are NOTAMs, how can you decode NOTAMs, how can you save them using a specific app called NOTAM Pro on your phone and why NOTAMs are so important for every pilot. So first, let's get down to the basics. What is a NOTAM? NOTAM stands for Notices to Airmen and according to the International Civil Aviation Organization Annex 11, which is Air Traffic Services, a Notice to Airmen is a notice containing information concerning the establishment, condition or change in any aeronautical facility, service, procedure or hazard, the timely knowledge of which is essential to personnel concerned with flight operations. This is a bit of a complicated statement, but what this basically means is a NOTAM is a piece of information which concerns all the operational personnel about the airport, any change in conditions or anything that may be associated and may pose a threat or danger or serves as a purpose of information for the pilots or anyone else that is associated with the airport. NOTAMs are very important because they effectively timely communicate information such as for instance a runway or taxiway is closed, uh, there are some uh, lights that are not working on the airfield, there is some procedure that might be amended that the pilots need to know of or there is any other thing that a pilot or any operational personnel should be aware about, this information is timely communicated in a NOTAM. The NOTAM has a specific importance because it can be quickly sent out to all the associated operators as compared to any AIP update or supplement which takes time to publish. That is why NOTAM serves as a very important and very crucial part of any pre-flight briefing and every pilot should be checking the NOTAMs for their airports. So NOTAMs are published for every specific airport and can be found on the internet or if you are a commercial operator and the commercial pilots and the big airline people, they get this NOTAM information in their pre-flight information or their pre-flight bulletin. But as concerned for small pilots, this is not really focused upon in the training, especially in Pakistan, to check the NOTAMs. It's always recommended to check the NOTAMs for your departure airport, your destination airport, your alternate airport and any other airports that may come in the left or right of your uh, flight plan route because you may need to divert over there as well. Today I am going to teach you how to check NOTAMs from the internet which is our first method that we will use and second we will be focusing on one very specific app that you can download onto your phones or tablets which will help you check and save all the NOTAMs associated for your airports. So, to check the NOTAMs on the internet, it's a very simple procedure. What you need to do is just go on google.com, type in the airport that you want to check the NOTAMs for. So we'll be choosing Lahore, which is OPLA, and just write in NOTAMs. Once you click search, you should get uh, some different websites. We're going to focus on two websites today. For Pakistan and Pakistani airports, the publishing authority for the NOTAMs is the Civil Aviation Authority, CAA. The first website that we see belongs to the CAA. We're going to just open that website and here you will see all the notices to airmen that are published by the Pakistani Civil Aviation Organization. So we're going to be searching for Lahore. So let's in the location panel, let's just select Lahore and we'll get all the NOTAMs that have been published for Lahore. So you have valid NOTAMs, replaced NOTAMs, cancelled NOTAMs and expired NOTAMs. It's important to note that a NOTAM is effective from a specific time on a specific day till a specific time and a specific day and this is included in the NOTAM so that a pilot or any other personnel should know when the NOTAM is in effect or when it's not in effect. So we will be focusing on a very specific NOTAM that I want to show you. Here it is, the NOTAM number is A0768-20. Let's open this up and here we have the actual NOTAM that we're going to be focusing on. So starting from the top, this is the NOTAM number. The publishing FIR or authority is OPLR which is the FIR of law, not going to go into details. The airport concerned is OPLA which is Law International Airport. Now this is effectively our date when it starts. The first portion is the effective date of the NOTAM and the second portion is the expiry date of the NOTAM. So we are going to start here, 20, the first two digits represent the year. So this is 2020. It was effective from 2020, the 10th month, which is October, and the 9th of that month, which is 9th October 2020, from 1100, which is usually our Zulu time, uh, the UTC time, and this is effective till 2022, 
second month which is february and 21st which is the 21st of february 2022 the time is 2359 which means if it's utc then it means this is approximately 5 am pakistani time the no time states that reconstruction work of main runway 36818 left shall commence with effect from 4th august 2020 Therefore, main runway will remain closed for aircraft operations. Aircraft operations at Alama Iqbal International Airport, Lahore, will continue from secondary runway 36 left, 18 right, for aircraft compatible with runway specifications as published in the AIP. So, some of you might know that the main runway of uh, Lahore International Airport is going construction work since last year, and it's still going to take one more year in the fe till Feb of 2022 to complete. So this no time has been issued with that effect to let pilots know that the main runway is closed and only the secondary runway which is runway 36 left will be available for flying. So that is how a no time looks in its original format. The other source that I want to show you for checking no time so let's just go back onto Google and we're going to search for another airport so let's say London Heathrow. So EGLL is the code and just write in no times. Another good website is Rocket Route. Just open this up and this will also give you the NOTAM that are available. Obviously the best source to ever check a NOTAM is the official Civil Aviation Authority but if you don't have access to the website for some reason or you can't find it, this is also a good source but it's not an official source. So here we have another NOTAM, EGTT is the publishing FIR which is London FIR I believe. EGLL is the airport, it's effective from 2021, the month is August, the date is 1st so it's 1st August 2021 from 1300. Zulu to 21st again the year 8th is the month and 20th is the date so 20th August 2021 till 22 Zulu. This specific part concerns at what time of what date will this no time be active. So for instance for the first on the 1st of August from 1300 to 1600 and then 1800 2100 and so on. The no time states pilots are not requested not to overfly filming W1 uh, 1NM which I believe is the specific uh, postcode. The radius with the coordinates which is Globe Theatre, South Bank, Central London So, and for information you can call this number. So basically just saying that pilots are requested to avoid this area while flying. So very simple, very easy but you can see there is a bit of a difficulty level in uh, associating and decoding this. Well, you do get used to it over time as I have but still I usually sometimes I have some difficulty just remembering okay this meant this, this meant this. The specific reason this is published in this format is it as it effectively communicates everything and there's no confusion left on when the no time is starting, when it's ending, what it states etc. The second method I want to show you is a specific app that we will be using to check the no times on our phone. So the specific app that we'll be using today to check no times on our phone is called no time pro i have this installed on my iphone here and i'm going to show you how to use this so we'll just open up the app we'll just click on the menu bar click on location and we can add new airport so it looks like it's loaded my old airports up but okay to add a new airport just click on the top right corner and you can type in the iq code of any airport so let's just add for example uh, sale code so OPST is the code, the airport name is Sealcourt and just click on the tick mark and that will add that to your airports. Now going back to the home menu, you can download all the NOTAMs associated with those five airports. So now it's going to download all the NOTAMs for uh, Lahore, Karachi, Islamabad, Heathrow and uh, Sealcourt. So now we have 50 NOTAMs with each airport. Now let's just say I want to focus on the NOTAMs for Lahore. So let's just type in OPLA in the search bar and we'll get all the NOTAMs for Lahore. So these are the same NOTAMs that we just saw on the Civil Aviation website. I'm going to focus on that same NOTAM that we just checked, which concerns the um, reconstruction work. So here we are, we click on details and you get three different tabs or three different sections which will tell you what the NOTAM is. So the first section on the top tells you what the NOTAM actually is and what it states. The second part gives a breakdown of the location, the effective date, expiry date and time and if there was any update to the NOTAM it lets you know. And the third section gives you the original NOTAM that was published by the authority. So this gives you a really easy breakdown on how the NOTAM works. 
Uh, the app has been created by Tinsley Technologies in America. So basically they've integrated this app with the FAA system. So when any NOTAM is added to the AFTN network and then subsequently to the FAA Federal Aviation Administration's database in America, it is added to this app within five minutes and it's available for every pilot to check. Similarly, if you want to download these, these NOTAMs are automatically saved on your device. So for instance, if you're in flight and you want to check the NOTAMs, concerned with let's say Islamabad and you have them downloaded they will be remaining on your device and you can check them easily. So it's a really good app, really handy app and concerning the fact that most pilots do not focus on this pre-flight briefing and do not get NOTAMs in the printed form like many commercial operators do, I would recommend every one of you to download and install this app. Now the app is available in both a light version and a pro version. The light version is free but it comes with ads and the pro version costs $2.50 on Android and $5 on iOS. Currently, the light version is only available on Android, but it should be releasing soon for iOS as well. Once it is, I'll let you know the links in the description below, but the current download links are also included. You can check them out below. I like this app. I've been using it for my flying, both on VATSIM and in real life, and it is really effective. I like to see the NOTAMs quickly on my device. Another you very useful thing that you can also check for each airport that you saved, you can also check the weather and the latest METAR and the TAF. So as you can see, we have all our weather. Let's just click on the weather for Islamabad, for example, and you will get the breakdown of all the associated parameters of a METAR. If you want to know what this all means, the original form on the top, you can check out my METAR video. But hence, that's all for this app. Uh, I would recommend all of you to download and check this app. It's really good. You will enjoy it. And the cost is very nominal concerned to the safety factors and safety margin that it provides. So that's all for this video. I hope you understood NOTAMs and how to decode them, how to uh, read them, and what uh, what is the importance of these NOTAMs in flying. Hope you liked the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. For then, stay safe and I hope to catch you soon in a future video. I know the videos have been less over time, but I've been busy with a lot of things in my life, uh, which I'll let you know soon. But until then, I'm trying my best to develop more content. You will see some more soon on the channel. Till then, stay safe. Catch you soon. Thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz.